One cannot put a finger on any reason why the EC is doing it, other than political. And I say political because, look, the attack on this register started before the 2016 elections. The new Patriotic Party is on record to have launched an unjustifiable, baseless attack on the register. The current vice president held a press conference and claimed that he had over 700,000 names of people who were not supposed to be on the register because they were foreigners. When they were doing so, they were targeting a certain part of this country with a view to achieving voter suppression. He claimed that he had 10% of the evidence and that he will furnish the country later with an additional 90%. In fact, you recall that there was a committee under the chairmanship of the late VCA, Alcy Crab, yeah. that requested for that additional 90% information, which never came. The register was a subject of a litigation, which we believe was sponsored by the new Patriotic Party. They used Abu Ramadan. All the lawyers in that case were MPP lawyers. Nobody can run away from the fact that it was an MPP instigated case. Yeah, but what's the what was the that? There's no problem. But I'm making the point that they tested their case in court also. The outcome was that the register was credible. There was an order for the deletion of some names. Even then, there was no conclusive evidence that the people should not be there. It was speculated in that they said they used NHIS cards. So maybe they could be foreigners. Which was in any event, by the law. In any yeah. event, those people were allowed opportunity to re-register exactly. using the right documentation. Exactly. So a legal process was initiated to test the validity, the legitimacy of that register, and it passed. Elections were held. The M MPP has never stopped wasting our years with the fact that they won by a million votes. We have a president who has gone on to set up a government that is operating legitimately. In December, when the disassembly elections were, were, were held, 6,000 assemblymen who were sworn in about a week or so ago were elected. 35,000 unit committee members, all deemed validly and legally elected, came out of that process. On what basis, therefore, does the entity that supervised all of this come out to tell us that there's a need to replace this register? In fact, we would have done a referendum using the Absolutely, same. but for, but, but but for the contestation. The you have given someone a job yes. to do a credible job. This is a very important job that can plunge this country when there's a mistake into chaos. He has assessed the tools he has, and he says this is the path that can guarantee a credible result. You are fighting that person. No. How because, does that work? You see, you see if the, they went ahead with what you are insisting and there was trouble, Will you tend to blame them again? Something. On the evidence of all that I've told you, there will be no trouble. The only trouble that is impending is being quoted by the EC at the instigation of what I believe to be political masters. That's why I spoke about political motive. Look, the president of this country, Nana Akufuado, in the heat of the debate about the Ghana card, launched yet another attack on the very register that elected him. In other words, he accepts the mandate that he derived from the register but is unwilling to accept the validity of the register. Such a bizarre situation. Again, you need to consider the circumstances under which the current leadership the of the EC is came to No, EC. I beg your pardon. It's the EC that is telling us I the beg your challenges pardon. they have. So I'm telling you that there is a political motive. In the absence of any technologically superior argument, hmm? in the absence of any logical argument that is acceptable to reasonable-minded people, I say, they are doing this for political reasons. That you are not buying the argument doesn't mean they are not no. logical. No, ah, but why? The arguments have been held in the public. We have all heard them. Anytime an EC official has attempted a response, it has ended disastrously. Everybody who reasons carefully, who is open-minded, will tell you that the arguments do not make sense. Once the president indicated that he thought that holders of the voters' ID card could have a number of foreigners amongst them, the EC perceived that as an order to compile a new register. That is why we are, we are where we are. So the sudden acceptance of that deeply flawed, unsubstantiated position by the MPP on the register is what has left us where we are. And we believe strongly that all this is aimed at voter suppression. What they want is to have a register that at all costs has been compiled under an NPP government so they can use state machinery to frustrate the process to the detriment of opposing political parties. That is what is at the heart of this, and nothing more. It is the reason why they are struggling to marshal any cogent arguments on the matter. Because, something, you see, elections are not just rigged at the police station on election day. The processes leading up to it are as important as the final event and its outcome. 
In the Ghana card registration, if you go to Abu Asebu Kwaman Kese now, there are places where you have about 300 residents who queue to vote. And in a day, only two or ten of them are registered. Yet there are other places that you know are dominated by MPP folk, and they get 300 people registered. So the process can be used to frustrate voters and make it difficult for them to register. In addition to this, I'm sure you've heard the EC itself say that they will not even roll out in all polling stations. They will set up about 8,000 or so. That means that about three different police stations would have to be collapsed into one. Further frustration for the voter. Added onto this is the fact that they will be coming out of another registration process, the NH NIA registration. So even voter fatigue, fatigue with registration and frustration can get people to stay away from the process. And I believe all those calculations are fitting into this agenda to compile an entirely needless register. 